Well, we're standing in the kitchen right now, um, which in a South Louisiana home is one of the most important spaces in the house. So we felt it was really important to have a nice, spacious kitchen. Uh, we, it has the highest ceilings in all of the house, so it makes it feel big, um, but that also allows the heat to kind of rise and stay away from the occupants. And then uh, if natural ventilation is desired, you can open windows low on the south side and high on the north side, which helps ventilate the house and get the hot air up and out. We have 39 uh, Sanyo panels, 20 Six are 205 watt panels, and then 13 are uh, 195 watt bifacial panels. They can collect a reflected light on the back side of the panel and generate, so they can generate energy from light hitting both sides of the panel. And it also creates a really beautiful effect when you see the panels as they overhang the roof. You can see the sun through those panels. The hot water system, we have a, an electric on-demand heater, but our main uh, hot water heater is actually built into the skylight, which is above the transitional porch, which is the heart of the home, really. Um, the covered porch was really important to us, and we have a custom door system which allows us to open or close that space. We can expand the kitchen, but, uh, but in that skylight is a the solar water heater, so it's not on the roof, it's, it's integrated into the design of the roof. We have one uh, five kilowatt Xantrex and one four kilowatt. Uh, Xantrex inverter. So t I actually saw a documentary about the solar decathlon um, when I was working offshore in the Gulf as a deckhand and on a boat and I, I just thought it was an amazing contest and amazing thing that, that the students got to do and I was really interested in green design so I decided to go back to school and get another degree in architecture and then I found out that UL was submitting a proposal for this decathlon and so I got involved and we got accepted and it was basically a dream come true.